Okay, Matt, I'm going to try and help you answer this question about Colleen and her cube rolling and coin flipping. It sounds like we need to identify when the number cube is rolled for uh, three or greater or when the coin is flipped to heads. So in probability notation, this is what that looks like, the union of the number cube being rolled to three or greater with the coin flip landing on heads. So calculating the individual probability should be pretty easy. There's six ways the number cube can land. Four of them are three or greater. So four sixths or two thirds for that particular probability. And then for the coin flip on heads, that's one half because there are two possibilities, heads or tails, one of them heads. And uh, this is what a Venn diagram of that situation would look like. We just need to find each individual piece. Uh, the P of X greater than or equal to three union H is everything inside both of the circles here. It's the probability that we get X greater than or equal to three or that we get heads or that we get both X greater than three and heads. So let's do, uh, let's do the intersection first. The probability of X that is the roll in the number cube greater than or equal to three. And the probability that uh, a heads is flipped is just the multiplication of those two because they're independent events. So two thirds times one half, which is one third when you do the multiplication. So the intersection probability is one third. Now, out here, the probability that X is greater than or equal to three, that is the number cube rule. But out here, we don't get heads. If you don't flip heads, you have to flip tails. So it's times the probability of tails, which is the same as the probability of heads. So again, we're doing two thirds times one half and realizing a probability of one third. And now let's think about this one here, the probability of heads, but that's outside the X greater than or equal to three circle. So that means we got X was less than and not equal to three, which has a specific probability times the probability of heads. Again, we get to multiply because these are independent events. The probability of X less than three, well, there's only two cases where that's true, two out of six cases, Two six reduces down to one third. So we have one third times the probability of heads is one half for one sixth. So the probability of X greater than or equal to three or H where X greater than or equal to three is just a roll in the number cube is the sum total of these three sections of the Venn diagram, which if you add the fractions is five sixths. And then we can verify that this is gonna be one sixth because the probability that X is less than three times the probability that uh, the coin flip is tails is one third times one half which is one six. And this is the one case that's not included inside of the circles. An alternate way to find this would just be to do one minus the one case that is not included inside of the circles. One minus one sixth is five sixths. I hope that helps you answer this question.